Let's take a look at the different panning modes in Cubase. Open up the mixer. Right now, we can simply pan the entire signal of each track to the left, right, or center. It works great, but just like everything else in Cubase, it doesn't end there. Right-click on the panner on the guitar track. At the moment, we have the Stereo Balance Panner activated, which allows us to balance the signal between the left and right channels. Let's try something else. Select the Stereo Dual Panner. Now there's two pan controls, one for the left and one for the right. We can now control the signal independently for the left and right channels. We can even reverse them if we want to. This gives us incredible control over the placement of the sound. Now let's try the stereo combined panner. The left and right pan positions are shown as two lines with a bluish gray area between them. If we reverse the left and right channels, the area between the pan controls will become red to let us know. The best way to control this panner is to select it and drag up or down and left and right. In this mode, the left and right pan controls are linked and can be moved left and right like a single pan control. However, it also allows us to independently control the left and right channels. This is done by holding down Alt or Option and dragging the left or right ends. When we move the combined pan controls so that the left or right pan control reaches the far left or far right, but we keep trying to pan in the same direction, only the other pan control will move. If we move the pan controls in the opposite direction without releasing the mouse, the pan range that was set up before we tried ramming it into one end will be restored. There are a couple more pan options in the project setup window. This pop-up menu allows us to select one of five pan modes. This is all related to the fact that without compensation, the power of the sum of the left and right side will be higher or louder if a channel is panned center than if it's panned left or right. To remedy this, the stereo pan law settings allow us to attenuate or lower the signal's pan center by one of these settings. Selecting the 0 dB option effectively turns off constant power panning. When you select equal power, the power of the signal will remain the same regardless of the pan setting. Experiment with the modes to see which fits best in a given situation. If this is confusing, just leave it as is, or try experimenting with playing music and then panning it left and right with different settings here. You'll really hear the volume difference.